Hello friends, it's Miss Rhett Berg. I'm going to read you a story called Star in the Jar. My little brother likes looking for treasure, tickly treasure, glittery treasure, even trash can treasure. But one day he found something extra special. So special, I thought it must belong to someone else. We asked the helpful girl from the school, but she said it wasn't hers. We showed it to the lunch lady, but it wasn't hers either. We asked the sheriff, but he shook his head. The fairies hadn't lost it, nor had the wizards. If no one has lost it, my little brother said, that means I can keep it. My little brother loved his new treasure. He put it in a jar and carried it everywhere. As the day turned into night, the little treasure got shinier, but it didn't look happy. Then my little brother spotted something. Up high in the dark, dark sky, there was a message. Lost, one small star. It's here, my little brother shouted to the sky, but the little star's friends were too far away to hear. We had to help the star get back home. We tried climbing up high, teaching it to fly, and bouncing the star back up to the sky. But nothing worked. Maybe the little star would have, this, would have to stay in the jar forever. Then an idea popped into my head. I raced inside and looked in every cabinet and every drawer. I found flashlights and twinkling lights, book lamps and bike lights, glow sticks and headlamps, and we sent a message back. Then the sky began to crackle and fizz, and the stars joined together and made a long, swirly, whirly, sparkly silver chain all the way down to our backyard. And they lifted their little friend gently back up to the sky. My little brother felt sad. He lost his special treasure. But then, thank you, friend. He realized he hadn't lost his treasure. He'd made a friend. A forever friend who would twinkle to him to sleep every night. Good night, star. The end. Have a great day, friends.